What's up guys, War here. Today we're going to be going over the Demon Hunters T16 just ultimate farming build for season 28. If you're not playing this, then you are missing out on what you need to be doing to farm up every legendary, all the mats that you need for your characters in season 28. So let's go over everything that you guys need as well as how to play the build. And we're going to hit a, uh, a regular rift and just showcase the build. So we are rocking the Gears of Dreadlands, also known as the God Set. We're rocking five of the six pieces because the two set, it gains four seconds of momentum and it stacks up, giving us a duration of 20 seconds and your primary skills deal 10% damage increased for each second of momentum, which is 20 seconds, which is huge. Our four set piece bonus is strafing against enemies will automatically shoot your last primary skill, which will be Hungering Arrow. And then it gives us damage reduction 60% while strafing for five seconds and five seconds after. So while strafing, you gain 8% increased movement speed for each stack. So this is huge. So it's eight times 20, which is amazing mo momentum. And then primary skills deal 27,500% increased damage. This has been buffed from last season. So we got five of the six pieces here. We are combining this with the Hunter's Wrath. You have to have this. Your primary skills attack 30% faster and deal increased damage. I wish this was 200%, but we got a pretty decent roll. Uh, and then we are rocking the Warzian Chain Arm Guards for more speed. Every time we destroy a Ruckable object, we get a short burst of speed because we are all about efficiency and speed in this build. We've combined it with the Squirt's Necklace for double damage, as well as Stone of Jordan to hit, help out with all of our elementals here. Now this could be something else we'll talk about in a second. And then we have Elusive Ring for damage reduction because we are gonna be shadow powering and or smoke screening nonstop. Okay, the next item that we have is Depth Diggers. You definitely need this. I wish I got a better primary skills roll, but it is primary skills deal additional damage up to 100%. Uh, now the next two items that we have for it are 100% necessities for this build. The first one is the ninth series satchel, which gives Hungering Arrow the a guaranteed pierce. Increased damage and Hungering Arrow can pierce only up to four times, which is good because we're going to be just detonating everything on the screen anyway. So that's all we need. Now you're probably wondering why I'm not running Dawn and why I'm not running something else here. We want Yang's recurve mainly for the resource cost reduction, which we have maxed at 50%. Okay, we want to be able to nonstop spin around and destroy everything without losing resources, and that's the main reason why we're rocking this. Okay, in our legendary gems, we have Simplicity Strength for more damage. Uh, we have Taegook for increased damage in armor. And then, of course, what's a T16 build farming build without the Boon of the Hoarder completely maxed out? Not only for the 100% chance to make an enemy explode with gold, but when we pick it up, we get 30% increased movement. So we are just going to be the flash on the screen. Okay, so let's go over our stat priorities here. We have uh, these have been updated. I know some people had a few things on my final form build and I did stand corrected. I did have the this one and I think one more as armor, but it needs to be all resist. So helmet is going to be Dex Vit. Uh, crit chance shoulders are going to be dex all resist area damage cooldown gloves are going to be you want this to be dex crit crit area damage uh for our squirts you want that to be cold damage not fire but then crit crit our arm guards you want that to be cold damage as well dex vit crit chance for our belt we want dex vit life hungering arrow damage uh, for our ring you want this to be cold damage as well dex and then increased damage against elites for our elusive ring, you want this to be crit crit. You see we're re-rolling our vitality. We're going to get crit damage, but you want this to be damage crit crit. Uh, for our pants, you have dex all resist hungering arrow damage. For our boots, dex vit all resist armor. And then uh, we have what we got here. Our offhand, you want this one. This one's a little tough, guys. I got a crappy one, but I'm going to break down what you need. So you need dex, attack speed, crit chance, cooldown hungering arrow damage and then of course for our yang's recurve instead of lightning damage you want this to be fire damage or straight damage then you got damage percent dexterity and then all resist or excuse me uh resource cost reduction okay so that's our stat priorities let's get over to our canise cube we have dawn that way it's combined with our cooldown reduction for 100 percent uptime on vengeance we have gold wrap which makes us invincible because on gold pickup you gain armor for five seconds equal to the amount picked up and then of course ring of royal grandor to make sure we have the six set piece bonus into our skills we have hungering arrow damage devouring arrow so we get the pierce strafe 
drifting shadow for movement smoke screen special recipe for even more movement preparation focus mind to gain back our discipline because we are going to be spamming smoke screen and companion i'm rocking companion wolf companion just for more damage uh, although this can change uh, and then of course vengeance dark heart now when it comes to your skills you can swap this for anything it could be you could do fan of knives okay you could do uh shadow power uh gloom or excuse me shadow glide for even more move speed totally up to you uh, and then as far as your stone of jordan you could replace this with coe if you wanted to or you could replace it with um let me go to my rings here you could replace it with where are you uh rachel's ring of larceny so you get even more uh, movement speed when you fear an enemy okay into our passives we have ambush for more damage uh hot pursuit for even more movement speed we got blood vengeance so every time we pick up health globes we gain back our resources and then tactical uh, advantage for more move speed so that is the build guys this is my ultimate t16 farming build so let's go in this plays just like any other god build we're gonna spam these and we're gonna rack up our momentum stacks with hungering arrow we're gonna strafe all over the place and then every about three to four seconds you're gonna hit your hungering arrow to keep your momentum stacks between 17 to 20 and then that's what we're gonna do so let's just go ahead and nephilim rift and showcase this build and just show how amazing it is and you detonate everything you just destroy everything like i would normally just pick up all my legendaries because i need them which okay 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 you're gonna make me pick it up i got i gotta get them guys easy you don't even have to worry about anything the build is so good drop me primals drop me primals please and thanks to the altar of rights being able to pick up even our death rests now we don't even have to stop for those we don't even got to stop for them let's go i wish it was an open map so you guys could really see how fast i am no more locked doors turn on a dime oop dead end doesn't matter because we're super fast it's like I even, it's like I never went down there. Open. Just destroy everything on the battlefield. You should be able to clear all of your normal rifts as well as any bounties that you're doing, bounty farming. You should be able to clear all these no problem super fast. And you shouldn't even have to think about it. You can throw on Netflix, not you can half pay attention and not even care. You are just done. 100% done. Come back. Boom. We did that and I don't even know. I didn't even have the time around. We did it so fast. Okay. So a few things, guys, that's the build. It's absolutely insane. A few things that you could change is here. You could swap out the armed guards for wraps of clarity if you would like. Again, you could swap Storm of Jordan for Rachel's Ring of Larceny, COE, um, or maybe something else that you guys wanted to play um and then those are the only real changes that i would make and then you have a few changes to your passives if you really wanted to you could take out hot pursuit and do night stalker you could do call of the week for even more damage totally up to you but you should be detonating everything on the screen so it does not matter so that is it guys that's my ultimate t16 and regular rift farming build for season 28 in diablo 3 make sure to drop a like if you guys enjoyed the video comment down below what you're playing and what you're farming with this season and as always Stay gaming. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.